Ooh. You know, that's a scary thing. Mm -hmm. To face down a good softball pitcher, pitcher like that, when that ball's coming at you so fast from what, just about 60 feet away? I mean, it is. it takes a lot of a lot of guts to stand yeah. in the batter's box and take a swing at that ball. And tomorrow they'll have weather on the field. Yes, they will. Oh. I, I don't know about you, but my shoulder hurts just watching, yeah. watching that. that windmill. Yeah. How do you yeah. do Isn't that? Impressive, impressive stuff. Yeah. I never could. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> okay. Quick, get the doctor. Guys, we have got some big, big changes on the way. we got a couple of live shots we want to show you right now. First of all, from the top of Bogus Basin, where we have a couple of high, thin clouds cruising on by. Uh, look at the way it looked up at the top of Sun Valley today. So, yeah, we had some high, thin clouds, but just gorgeous, gorgeous conditions. And now those high clouds are increasing across much of the state because of the leading edge of the next system that's getting ready to move in. 34 degrees, that's been the high so far today. That is the current temperature reading in Boise. You got plans to go out this evening. It's going to be a chilly night. Uh, 33 degrees in Nampa, 20 degrees in McCall right now, 35 in Caldwell, 39 in Ontario. And the low last night in the Treasure Valley got all the way down to 10 degrees. That's the combination of that cold air and uh, the very, very dry conditions and the light winds. It was just frigid last night. Okay, so this feature that you see racing in from the northwest, this is what's going to start altering our weather pattern because as it approaches, it's going to do a couple of things. Number one, it'll send a piece of energy in our direction. So this is why I've got a wintry mix in the forecast tomorrow. Probably start out as snow and then maybe a little rain snow mix in the afternoon. Doesn't look like a super wet storm for us. I think on average about maybe one to two inches of snow is possible in the Treasure Valley, but even then, I don't think it'll stick around for very long. Then the bigger piece of the storm is going to come down here and it's going to be stalling right off the coastline of Washington, Oregon, and Northern California. This is going to start making things very interesting, and as it does, it'll start sending some milder air in our direction on Sunday. So I'm going to say we could start out as snow in the Treasure Valley on Sunday morning and then change over to rain showers by Sunday afternoon. The mountains will be seeing snow. That is a given. Just straight up snow showers in the mountains. Now, then what happens is this. We start developing this Pineapple Express. All this subtropical air that we have out here in the Pacific Ocean is going to start feeding into that low, and that's when we start seeing valley rain and mountain snow starting on Monday and it will continue for quite some time. It will be surges of occasional showers moving into the region. So tomorrow morning, there you can see snow in the mountains and a scattering of snow showers in the Treasure Valley. In the afternoon, the models are already trying to change it over to some rain shower activity. But then on Sunday, look at what happens. The snow becomes very heavy in the mountains, and as we develop that westerly flow, it could be snow changing over to rain in the Treasure Valley. So it is going to be a very, very fluid environment that we're going to be under here for the next few days. Seven-day forecast for the valley. So there's the wintry mix possible through Sunday and then straight up rain showers because the temperatures will get so warm next week. Highs in the mid to upper 40s with periods of rain moving in and out of the Treasure Valley through Wednesday and possibly into Thursday. Up in the mountains, folks, it's going to be snow and it will be heavy at times. That's why the winter storm warning is in effect in the mountains right now through at least Tuesday that may be extended. One to three feet of snow is possible depending on elevation. It's going to be a doozy of a week here for us here across uh, the state of Idaho. And we're going to be skiing in April. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> April. skiing on the 4th of July. June, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. All right. <laughs>